All right, guys, today we're going to be building the wheel wells, um, not the wheel wells, the boxes for the wheel wells. So what we're going to use are some two by fours and I used um, three inch nails, but I ran out. So then I switched over to three inch screws. Nails are just easier um, to use and they're cheaper. Got my drill, got my jig, got my other jig. I got my great stuff, foam, used it all. Got my square, got my line, got my tape. Got some bits for pre-drilling. I broke like seven of them, so make sure you get a multi-pack. Got my leftover liquid nails for gluing it down. My subfloor. And then I'm using my subfloor to cover them up because I have so much extra. Because my dad miscut a bunch, which turns out to be a good deal. So that's what we're doing today. I used uh, drywall screws to screw in the plywood. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. So the first thing I did was measure out the wheel well and then cut the wood to length. To get the height to cut, I stacked two 2x4s and a piece of plywood and got the height and then subtracted that from what I wanted the total height to be. So that's how I got my, my shorter pieces length and I just cut them up and then stacked them together, hammered them all in. And then I measured off the back wall to make sure that I screwed in the wood square. Glued it up with the subfloor liquid nails, squeezed it in there, and then just screwed it down to the plywood. I used short enough screws so I didn't get into the floor. At this point I should have screwed it into the metal wall, but I tried to do it with a wood to metal screw and it didn't work so I just gave up. Um, eventually I switched over to just regular construction screws and that worked a lot better. Then I measured my other legs off of the ones I had just mounted and made sure they were the right length. I wanted them to be 48 inches apart so a piece of plywood would sit on it perfectly. And I screwed it down, measured my plywood caveman style, cut it. and then screwed it in. And I filled it with some great stuff. I didn't shake it enough so it started spraying liquid. Then I filled it up with some insulation. It's actually really cool stuff. It's not itchy. It's like 80% recycled. I'll put a link to it down below. And then I did that three more times. The ones in the front I did a little bit differently because I ran out of wood and so I had to do a cross beam to get my smaller pieces of plywood to not be so bowy in the middle. Used a jig to drill out some holes. So after I had finished, I decided to screw it into the wall, which was silly because I had to move all the insulation and stuff, and 
I broke a couple bits doing it. Um, I shoved a 2x4 behind it to give it something to bite onto. But it turns out if you just use the right screws, these 3 inch construction screws, you don't need that 2x4 behind it. So for the first box I used 2x4s, for the second box I didn't use 2x4s, and for the third box I broke my bit and gave up. And I decided it was okay because the glue was holding pretty well. Alright, thanks for watching guys. All the boxes turned out a little bit different because I ran out of some plywood. That's the fun of building things. It's always a little different. So, um, go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Hit that like button if you liked it or dislike it if you didn't like it. And uh, subscribe. We are doing more. So, uh, thanks for watching. Leo, what's up? Hey! Welcome to the bus. Wanna come up? Okay. Yep. Give it a good jump. Oh, no. Is it pretty good? No. It's not? Man. I worked pretty hard on this. <laughs>